Our guest tonight is the Associate Vice President of Campus Life. So ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Francisco Diaz. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. That was quite an entrance. That was probably the most energetic entrance we've ever had. So. Oh. You came in strong, but now you get, now you started up high, so you gotta stay. Yeah, up you there. gotta stay that way. Yeah. Well, yeah, I see you have adobo, so now we're really yeah, ready, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, you can. That'll be next to you the whole time. Okay, great. Uh, Thank <laughs> you. My adobo award. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna start off. Um, can you explain what you do at the school? I know we were talking earlier and about how there's the whole uh, SGA and the campus activities and the. So you're the associate vice president of campus life, is your title? Right, and what that means is that I work in the area of student development. And I have the pleasure of working with clubs and organizations, the SGA office. I also work with community services. I help run orientation and I deal with commencement. So when the students come in and when they leave. <laughs> so it's sort of a little a part of everything really. Because I remember you at my orientation. That's right. I guess you'll be at the commencement too. So. I will be there. So you're, a little, you're doing everything for the school. Um, and like you said earlier, there's a lot of association with different parts of you know, student development campus activities. So can you tell us like the process of, you know, something becoming a campus activity? Because you said that something has to be approved by you before it becomes like Right, a, yeah, well activity. not necessarily myself. I mean the students, students really, um, we've given them great opportunities to learn about how to budget, how to plan events and activities, but I'm part of, I'm part of the process, I guess, of helping them develop themselves as mm -hmm. students, as student leaders, organizing events and activities. So if a student club wants to get together, or students rather, and set up an event, um, they'll work with the campus activities office, they'll um, put all the information in, try to get it approved through SGA. SGA does have over a million dollars of money that's raised by the students. <laughs> so your fees are being contributed every year to help support all the events on campus. Wow, that's great. Wait a second, let me just lay out an example here. So let's say a group on campus was trying to get someone, we'll just say uh, Fetty Wap. Let's say they were trying to get Fetty Wap on campus. Would you one be the man to talk to? One or two? Um, we want oh at least one good eye. Okay. So. Just check. Uh, so, so if we wanted Fetty Wap, you're the man to go to, huh? Well, <laughs> not necessarily me. First, you got to okay. convince your peers. Mm -hmm. You got to convince the students that that's who they want. Hashtag as well. Fetty to WP. You yeah, tweet it. Yeah. <laughs> tweet it. I've been seeing the tweets. I don't know if it's going to work, but um, right. money money plays a role. Uh -huh. um, depending on how much the agent wants for him to come in and perform here, um, could be its limitations or not. I mean, if it's a reasonable amount of money, the SGA would provide the resources, hopefully and support you with the Student Activities Programming Board, mm -hmm. and who knows what could happen at the rec center or somewhere else on campus. And soon, Fetty will be coming our way. Got it. The late you heard it, you heard it, yeah. you heard it first. <laughs> so moving on, uh, so you're actually a graduate of hashtag Team Hobart here. In That's Hobart right, Hall. I graduated a long time ago. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm a proud graduate, 19, a uh, long time ago. Uh, bachelor's and my master's here uh, in the same building. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a communication major, thankfully. You're here with Diana Peck too and um, yes, Professor Peck was and, one of my uh, professors. Anthony and Maltese, you said too, right? That's right. Professor Maltese was my mentor in many ways. Now he's our award yeah. uh, person. I have a know. trophy with his name on it. Yes, we have, we have a trophy with his We name. all have trophies with the name on it. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. So it's good that, I mean, this hashtag Team Hobart thing has become so huge. So, I mean, it's always good to have someone, especially that's because you're an alum. Now you're working for the school. Yeah, um, 14 so. years now. 14 years. Wow. Um, it's, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little. Trippy because you and Eric look similar from this angle because you both have beards oh, you both wow. have the, and the glasses. Yeah. Very I just nice. don't have the earrings. My father wouldn't let me do that. <laughs> oh, my dad's not happy. Oh man, I'm missing one. So now I'm, mis I'm mismatched. <laughs> oh. It's been a long week. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, so uh, when we were talking earlier, one thing you mentioned was that uh, you were actually, you're a Mets fan and the Mets are doing well. Well, actually, you know, I have to come clean. Okay. I have to come clean. Okay. You know, I, I, I've always watched baseball once yeah. in a while, but never really was a fan of any particular team. But when my son was working for SNY this summer, he had the opportunity to take me to a game, and I said, oh, I've been to a Mets game, but a long time ago, let's go, let's go, let's go. And after Cespedes came on board, and I got to see him there, and I said, wow, he's Cuban, I'm Cuban. 
So now they got a new Cuban player, a new Cuban yeah. fan, and look what they're doing. <laughs> look how well they're doing. So it's all you. It's, it's all, all, it's all, all Francisco just saying, for the Mets. Just saying. All Francisco just saying, for the Mets. Me? I'm, I'm Me also the Mets. Uh, a Mets fan. Oh, really? Oh. Yes. Um, and what's you your know, claim to fame? Well, you know, my favorite player, <laughs> Mo Vaughn. Mo Vaughn's my favorite. Um, Mike That's Piazza. Years, years, Mike years Piazza. and years ago. Mike Piazza. M E T S Mets Mets Mets. Okay, and right? I thought I was old.